Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in PowerPoint, that is a format menu. So by default, there will be no format menu in PowerPoint, but if you insert any image or if you insert any text, so we'll get that format menu. So I will show you. So I have opened this PowerPoint and you can see this is a menu bar and here we are having some home, insert, design, transitions, animation, slideshow, review, and view. So there is no format menu. But if you insert any image, so I will go with the image, so I will search in the online, so I will go with the image, so I will select some background image, so I got some background image, so I will select this background image, insert, so this is an image which I have selected from the internet and you can see, now you can observe the format menu. So before there is no format menu in the menu bar, but if you insert the image, we will get the format menu. And also see, this is a blank slide and again you don't have any format menu. And if you insert any text, see, if you insert any text, right, this is a text I am inserting. So now you can observe in the format, uh, in the menu bar, there is a format menu, see. So that means this format menu will be available for the image or text right so coming to the image so select the image so that the format menu will be appeared and if you don't select the image so you can see there will be no format menu. so just select the image you'll get the format menu and here you can see the remove background so which we have seen in the previous sessions so we can remove the background and the next one is a corrections so that means the brightness sharpen or soften so all these things will be applied for this image you can see the image the changes has been applied to the images based upon your selection right and the next one is a color so you can also change the color saturation tone and recolor so if you select this one you can see the changes has been applied to the image in the background right and these are the artistic effects artistic effects these are a different artistic effects right black and white effect and all these things are different artistic effects so we can select uh, which you require and the next one is a, a reset picture that means uh, if you do any uh, see this is a original image right the original size of the image so it's very large right so if you uh, i mean that is beyond the slide so we have to reduce the size and then these are the different frames Okay, these are the different frames that can be applied on this particular image. So I will insert one more image. So I will go to the insert, go to the online pictures. I will give some Mickey, the image Mickey. So let us take this Mickey, right? So this image. Now, if you want to apply some frames, you can apply this frame. So you can select this one so that the frame will be applied to that particular image. See. So these are the different styles of frames you can apply this is a rounded rectangle and this is a blurred okay blurred so black border and similarly it's a thick border thin border circular right so these are the different uh, picture styles that means different styles we can apply the frames right see these are all the different 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 frames of borders Okay. So like this we can apply the required picture style and then there is an option called picture border. If you want to change the border, the change the color, so you can observe here. So you can observe on the image, right? If I am going moving through the different colors, the border has been changing, right? And no outline. So if you click on no outline, there will be no outline. And weight, so you can give the border of the, the weight for the border, right? can give the weight for the border and also the style of the border that means if you want to display the dashed lines or dot dashed lines and all these things you can apply see so this is a dashed lines right these are the different styles right so like this this is a border and a picture effects you can see the different picture effects so presets shadow if you want to apply some sort of shadow so you can see it's a slight changes we have been occurred in the image right and the reflections it's a different reflections you can observe the bottom of the image there is some sort of reflection is there 
right and a glow so you can see at the border you will be having some glow right and soft edges soft edges right so these are the soft edges and a bevel some 3d effect will be given there's some 3d rotation will be applied here so these are the different uh, picture styles we can give and if you are inserting two different images so we can uh, send this image to the background and we can bring the background image to the foreground see for that we are giving the options bring forward and send backward so i just want to uh, get this background front so bring forward so you can observe here so there is no mickey so just click on the selection pane so this selection pane will display what are the images or what are the text that are visible in the slide see our picture our slide will be having a two pictures but here there is only one picture because this comes to the forward okay foreground and if you just click and send background so automatically this image will be in the foreground see i will i will show you the difference you can see here so So this is an image, background and foreground. I will I will show you the example for the background and foreground. So this image is half inside and half outside. Now I just want to select this one and send background. You can see this image went to the background image, background, right? And if you select this one and click on bring forward, that that image will be getting a forward. Right? Hope you understood this one. Now the next one is a align. So you can align the image. At your required position. If you, you can align the left, align center, align right, align top, align middle, align bottom. Right. So like this, we can align the image according to your required. Or you can simply drag the image, right. And then the next one is a rotate option. So click on the rotate. So you can rotate the image through uh, 90 degrees right side, 90 degrees left side, or you can also go with the flip vertical or a flip horizontal. You can simply use this flip horizontal, right? And the next one is a crop, crop. So just select this image. So if, if I want to crop this one, so crop means uh, just uh, selecting portion, right? Which we want to display. So we can cut this one. So crop, so automatically there will be some border with the black lines so you just select this one see i am just selecting this portion i am selecting only this portion so after selecting this one click on crop only that selection that selection will be displayed right similarly crop to shape this is one one option this is one option and crop to shape you can select the shape so that see the image will be cropped to the selected shape, right? You can, you can. I mean, here we are having a lot of shapes, so you can simply crop the image to the particular shape, and also you can resize the image. One is to one, or two is to three, three is to four, three is to five. So just select this one. So three is to five. So the image will be selected in this way, and and if you go with the five is to three. The image will be selected in this way right so like that we can crop the image according to our requirement and simply the height we can increase the height or we can decrease the height so without dragging with the mouse so you can increase and decrease the size of a image see this is a height and fit so this is the image format options so that means by default the format menu will not be appeared in the menu bar so if you insert the image automatically the format menu will be appeared right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much